Hey, good morning, Morgan. Fed rate hikes, inflation, the impact of the virus, all of them weighing on the outlook for equities in 2022. What may not be well appreciated, stocks have a built-in hedge. As inflation rises, so do the corporate revenues, pumping companies full of cash, cascades of corporate cash. Wharton professor Jeremy Siegel, he offers this chart. Shows dividends from the S&P companies have outpaced inflation over the long run. As inflation rises, dividends go up. So do share buybacks. Uh, Jeremy Siegel telling me the long-term history is that earnings and dividends go up with the price level, both in high and in low inflationary times, not year over year, but over the long run. The S&P total return index shows that companies have been able to keep pace with inflation and then some throughout most of the pandemic. Meanwhile, buybacks and dividends, here's what's interesting. They have not kept pace with the increase in free cash flow. In the year ahead, Jonathan Golub of Credit Suisse thinks there's substantial scope for the return of cash to shareholders. And he looks for it more in old line manufacturing companies rather than technology firms. So take that tech check at the 11 o'clock. Barry Knapp of Ironside Macro tells me corporate cash levels are quite bloated. And if they can't use the money, they generally do give it back. Now, higher dividends and buybacks, they're not going to offset every risk factor to stocks. Valuations overall, well, they could take a hit if the Fed is forced to do more to contain inflation. But corporate cash flow, it's been keeping pace with inflation and then some. And returns to cash investors in 2022 should as well. David?